in vino veritas. This is an old Latin saying which means that alcohol acts as a truth serum. Many of times we have seen people speaking the truth under the influence of alcohol. I have a cousin who is just of my age. I can recall growing up together. Our rooms were just adjacent to each other in our house. And we used to study in the same class, so most of this time we studied and played together. Although, as it happens in most of the Hindu joint families, our mothers shared a very strong bond of hatred. They could not stand each other. And any time they found both of us playing together or studying together, they would separate us. And as we grew up, the distances between us grew with it. It happened that we just uh, used to meet at uh, family gatherings and just uh, share a smile or two. Eventually, both of us got married and were settled in our lives. It was in 2015 that I uh, and my husband planned to go to Nanita. I received a call from my brother's wife. Uh, she said, uh, Didi, we would like to accompany you to Nenital, and if you don't mind, can you please get your reservations cancelled and we can make a trip together by road. I had a word with my husband and uh, I called her and said, yes, why not? So we planned the journey together and we were in Nenital. After having dinner, we all were sitting in a room. Now my cousin has, uh, uh, occasionally he takes a drink or two after dinner. So he had his, he enjoyed his drinks and we were sitting and the discussion turned in such a manner that all of us disc uh, started discussing our childhood memories. I said, hey, do you remember that yellow tricycle of yours? It was a two-seater cycle. I used to sit at your back and you used to pedal that cycle. He said, why not? I remember that also and I remember the scolding that my mother used to give me because you used to sit at the back and I used to pull you and you were a little chubby at that time. And he started laughing. Soon I saw tears in his eyes and he said, those were the golden days. I cherish each and memory. I cherish the time spent with you. How I wish I could have called you. How I wish I could have expressed that how much I missed you. But every time I tried to call you, it was my mother who held me back. I was choked. I wanted to say so many things. But I just said, missed you too, bhai. It was that day I realized the power of alcohol. Hey, hey, I'm not saying that from today we all should start, a, start consuming alcohol. Dr. Harris Treitner, the clinical director at Addiction Recovery Services at Mount Sinai Medical Center says, Alcoholists don't think before they speak. Whatever is on their lungs is on their tongues. How many of times you have felt that there are people who have their emotional side which they try to hide? When a person drinks and he is under the influence of alcohol, his power to think and analyze is reduced. And you can see a different person altogether. They convey their emotions to say that they are humans. They convey their feelings to show that they have a softer side of them too. I have had a wonderful time with few of my friends revealing their soft side and let, letting go of their guards. So hear them well and you might get to know some of the things which you would have never known otherwise.
Hiding emotions that we all do very often. We try to hide the pain. We bottle up the anger, the anxiety and the danger. So I think instead of bottling up, let's do bottoms up. And let out all those negative and all those feelings which we have buried inside us. Which intoxicate us and bring negativity in our life. So this is Surabhi Jain saying goodbye till we meet again with a new discussion.